Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Much love going out to the Empowered Harmonizers. And I want to zoom in and focus in on a great viewer question. And that is really to understand the cycle of tension, disrespect that comes with relationship with a psychopath. Um, the yo-yo effect, the give and take, the desiring to be controlled by another, to be engulfed by another, to be enmeshed by another is the root cause of the problem when you're in a relationship with a psychopath or someone who has a true character disorder, a deviant disorder, um, is lacking in conscious yet they have a profound lack of empathy and a heightened uh, uh, sensitivity to dopamine, which sends them on a drive to control and manipulate others. And, it, and this combined with their high risk behavior and feeling like they're really above the law and um, lacking in empathy or social regard and lacking in conscious, which is part of the, the prefrontal cortex in one's moral development, it, it drives them to do things and treat others in a way that is very, very disrespectful, where they really kind of take over their psychology in a negative, disruptive manner. And we call that brainwash uh, or gaslighting. And now um, we go into more of that in other uh, videos, but for the, the goal of this video, um, it is looking at understanding the tension of being deluded or delusional or desiring the delusion or desiring the defense mechanism which is instilled by a relationship with a psychopath in truly their, their target. So when we talk about narcissists, we're talking about how they surround themselves with supply to make them look good, etc. When you're talking about a relationship with a psychopath um, a so or a sociopath, you are truly targeted. So they're sussing you out from the crowd. Um, they're taking advantage of others in work or familial or relationship settings, social settings, where they are honing in and their filters, they are really, they're able to read people's body language in a split second. They know who are the good targets, the juicy targets, the people who are kind, considerate, soft heart, soft spoken, the puppy dogs, the puppy dogettes, the girls, you know, whoever you, however you want to call it, those people who have no boundaries, who are easily manipulated, they will say they'll know just an easy catch. They won't marry these people. They're cheap behind their back. Um, they will tell them everything that they want to hear. Um, they'll be very parasitic in nature, finding a place to live, people to drink with, drug with, people to rob, pillage, and rape, you know, they will just find targets. They will steal money. They will steal contacts. They will steal data. They will steal uh, clothing. They'll steal uh, furniture, uh, pictures. Um, they'll create a whole barrage of psychological warfare in the people who they target. And really, it's a truly gaslighted state. And as a psychopath will say, I will respectfully disrespect you, meaning I will play such mind games with you that disrespect now feels like respect. So it's a very sophisticated and very complex psychological maneuver with which they really kind of gut people out of their own inner sense of control and instill within them this psychological hijacking, which is utter and complete disrespect to the deliberate and pre-calculated demise of their target. So in other words, they want that person ruined. They want to ruin people's lives. It's not like, oh, I'm just, you know, a player on the weekends. They are out for, you know, ruining people's lives, business, um, cleaning out their bank accounts, ruining their reputation in a community, a family, a job. Um, they, they delight in other people's pain. They, they delight in seeing their victims completely in fear because they do not 
engage in, they do not have fear within them. So they, they have no guilt. They have no remorse. These are the serial, whatever the criminals, they are criminal in nature. I mean, it's, we're talking about your psychopaths who instilled this sort of psychological tension, which you then crave. And as the viewer had asked, this truly sets up an addiction. So it is uh, an addiction which is carved in the mind of their victims where they then begin to have a compulsion, which means, you know, a, a desire that you do not have control over anymore. And it's a compulsion, even though it negatively affects your life and others, your ability to work, concentrate you know, have a routine, sleep when the sun goes down, rise when the sun, you know, rises, you are discombobulated and they, they are able to get into one's mind and the core of one's psyche by breaking them down and removing their own inner guiding system. I mean, it is really psychologically hijacking. It's a horrific experience for those people who have been there and the people who are psychopathic, I mean, they have no caring or feeling for their victims. Contrary to the appearance, oh, we're a happy marriage. We're a happy family. We're married. See my this. You know, we're in our house. See our this. Here's my big title at work. I mean, it is all a scam uh, with a psychopath. And so the question was, you know, what is this core dynamic set up? And it is the core of addiction where um, like you know, any addiction to drugs, to alcohol, um, it is a compulsion despite evidence to the contrary that it is not good for you. So it becomes compulsive and then they're able to instill really a, a control over their victims, which is highly disrespectful and, you know, causes them to really do things that are out of character uh, for that individual. So as I've mentioned, I've had clients here where they are not able to work. Literally, they in the in the work environment that they have shared with this individual, they literally could not physically enter the room in a meeting room where this person was because their energy was so um, large that they could literally feel this energy and could not attend their very own meeting. They couldn't do their own work. Um, things began flipping around in their mind, the way that images appeared, you know, they're able to uh, transpose the meaning of things, if that makes any sense. It's very, very odd, very, very horrific for these people where they really, they're, they become brainwashed, just like you hear uh, the, the victims of war who have been um, psychologically tortured um, to states that most people will never, ever encounter in their lives. Thank goodness. But um, for the purpose of this, so addiction is then set up in the in the brain, uh, in the neurology of people. So anything that carves a very intense experience in the brain, be it pleasure or pain, becomes what we call indelible memory or like it becomes a reservoir or a trigger point. So, um, for example, the, you know, you hear about heroin addicts, meth addicts now seem to be this rage, whatever this Molly is, um, marijuana is starting to be, uh, legalized. You know, we're, you know, I don't think marijuana is addictive. Certain substances are not addictive where they create this compulsion, but there are what they call heroin addicts, cocaine addicts, alcohol who are addicts to alcohol. You can laugh about, you know, chocoholics, you know, that's not very serious, but we're talking about, you know, in a relationship, you can have relationship addicts or sex addicts or, you know, in the, the psychology of the psychopath where they then ingrain an addiction, their, their targets, not their supply, their targets become addicted to this severe traumatic experience where it's an engulfing of uh, usually, um, a high risk feeling or behavior that is associated with this person, be it sex, money, whatever, whatever, eating, going places, whatever is the, the, the foundation that this psychopath has created in their target, the target then feels an addiction to this person. In other words, a compulsion 
to want to be with them, they can't keep themselves away. I mean, they're driven to madness. They're driven to do very odd behaviors to relieve the tension that this person has created within them. So they create this tension or addiction in their in their targets. So they'll want to be with them. They need them to be focused on them all the time. So that's part of their um, their targeting is so that their target is constantly thinking about them. They can't sleep. They can't work. Um, they can't focus. They have to be checking their phones. They're checking their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter. What is this person doing? Oh, look at this instant message. I mean, they're literally wrapped up. They cannot separate themselves from this person. They no longer have the rights to their own thoughts, their own feelings. It is out of control. And it is um, a terror for these people. And um, only those people who have been with psychopathic individuals know the, the situation. It is not a situation which most people have entered into, I would say. But we do have a great number of viewers here on the channel who have been through this horrific treatment and are seeking to heal through the other side and get out of the psychological hijacking and distorted thought patterns and feeling and terror that is very uniquely set up in the targets of those people who are, are psychopathic. Um, and you might hear, you know, music about, you know, it is nothing funny. When I talk about this, it is, um, it is, it is very, very serious. I do not take people who have been a target of psychopathic uh, warfare lightly. It is very, very serious, and there's not a lot of help for people out there with this experience. So that is the goal of the channel also is to be there for this very uh, specific uh, culture and community who have encountered this because there's not enough support for people out there uh, for this. So again, it's an addiction, which means like cocaine or something pleasurable where the mind then seeks this pleasure. I've you know not done these drugs, but I guess that there's some sort of or molly or methadone or whatever crack that these they, these people get this psychological high where they become zombie-like, um, where they become laughing or just delusional or whatever it is that they go through. They then crave this mental state, which is ulti ultimately corroding them. Why they would do this, it, it confounds me. I mean, why not just go to sleep if you want a zombie out? Why don't you take a nap? I mean, why would you want to do this to yourself in an risk overdose you have no idea what's even in these drugs they're not fda regulated they're not created in a laboratory of scientists who graduated from harvard i mean they're in laboratories that are combined you know off of god knows where and what god known area that these drugs are uh created out of what kind of labs i mean you know that is addiction the brain seeks this pleasure spot so the brain in the relationship with a psychopath is very much the same way. They're seeking a chemical concoction which it cannot get on its own and it becomes a compulsion which means the supply cannot, you know, the target cannot remove themselves. So again, it is acknowledging this. It is an addiction. It is an addiction. So that's why we talk about freedom from alcohol, freedom from drugs, freedom from a psychopath. It is freedom from the addiction and the compulsion that is set up to be with this person or to figure out them or why this happened. It is the freedom, it is the liberation from that which is needed and that is the goal of this video and oftentimes the tools that we need to set up here. And God bless, much love to the Peace and Harmony viewers who have encountered this. It is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today and I hope these videos help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion in support.